Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungo. Uh, thank you for subscribing to our channel. Thank you for continuously supporting us. We're very, very grateful. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungo. If you're new, feel free to suggest anything. Just give me the name or the link down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Even if you're old, feel free to suggest something down below. So today I'm going to be reacting to Dr. Zaki Naik English Lectures. Angry Christian sister asked Dr. Zaki Naik why you want to change. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, my name is Sabina. I'm a student. You gave an example about how we students, the youngsters, uh, shoot an arrow and draw a bullseye. Uh, I would just like to make the same sort of allegation to you. You shot an arrow, your arrow, uh, and drew your bullseye. And now, if anybody does not aim where you have aimed before, they are wrong. That, I think, is inconsiderate and inhuman. Sister mm -hmm. asked a very important question. When I gave the example, people shoot in the air and then draw the bullseye. She's saying and alleging, even I have done the same. And if people don't agree, then I don't agree with them. Sister, please tell me where was my arrow wrong? Which part of my lecture was shooting the arrow in the air and drawing a bullseye. I gave example that people do graduation. Why do graduation? I don't know. What you will do? I don't know. After passing, what job you take? I don't know. I gave example. Now you sister give me an example in my lecture. Which part of my lecture was shooting the arrow in the air and drawing a bullseye? If not, then I would tell you that you are shooting in the air and then drawing the bullseye. But you already said it. Sister, which part of my lecture? I give you a chance to reply. Which part of my lecture was shooting in the air and then drawing a Your bull? part of the lecture was not shooting in the air. Mashallah, thank you the very much. Aim. The whole A was like the why judging people by defining them on the terms of Islamic and what their purpose in life is only in terms of Islamic. You give me a better purpose of life. You give, give me a give better purpose. Name? See, we are having open question and session. Anyone can differ with me. I'm not exactly. telling I'm always people right. People differ from you. You, you have the judge. right to differ. But when you defer, you have to give the reason. For example, I said 2 plus 3 is equal to 4. You say, no, it is not 4, it is 5. I'll ask you why. So if I say you something wrong, you have to prove me wrong. Just by saying 2 plus 2 is not equal to 4, you are educated, sister. Correct? So you, if you tell that I have done something, I agree with you. Prove me. But he, he keeps Kul on speaking. Hatu kum, in kum, speak. in Produce your proof. If you are truthful, so tell me which part of my lecture or you tell me is there any better purpose of life than to thank the creator than to worship him? Yes, sister. Yes, please could you on the microphone of the sister? Yeah. She wants to educate us. I'm not trying to educate anyone. I, I want think to be educated. I'm a student sister. I love being educated. You Great, may not but like you don't let educated. people speak. Sorry? You don't let people speak. You just go on and on. I'm giving I'm you a chance to speak, sister. Speak. There are differences and you cannot just, you know, convert everyone. Convert not in the sense of converting into Islam. Converting people's viewpoints. You know, there are differences. Sister, you are and not answering my question. You are beating around the bush. I'm not my beating question around is, the bush. What is That's the because purpose? you're presuming that you, I will answer whatever you want me to answer. No, sister. I'll answer it in my way. So you're always beating around the bush. I've heard his answer. Why should I listen? Oh, thank you, sister. Thank you for your comments. And we leave the audience to be the judge. How many people will follow you? How many people follow I me? Don't want we'll come to know later on. So next time when you give a lecture, I hope you get an audience which is big. So then they listen to your answer of purpose of creation, sister. On my left side. Then inshallah we can do this a little bit quickly. We'll have the next question from the brothers. If there's a non-Muslim on the mic, please go ahead. Good evening, everybody. My name is Febi. I'm from Nigeria. Um, I would like to correct an impression to everybody sitting down here. I am a Christian. And the impression is this. Jesus is not God. 
It is not written anywhere in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation that Jesus is God. Jesus is the spirit of God in a human being form. Psychologically, we human beings does not believe in what we don't see. Because we need a proving something that's uh, uh, something to prove and evidence that truly God really exists. Although there were many prophets that comes before Jesus that relate the message of God, they talked about God all the way from Moses, uh, Joshua, Isaiah, like that. They talk about God before Jesus came. And what I want to correct is this Jesus is not God. Now, I want to make a further point like this. In the book of Bible, we have. Can you on the microphone? Brother. Yes. This is a question answer time, not a speech time. If you want to give a speech, you're most welcome to hire the hall, take the permission from the authority, and give a lecture. The question is this yes. the question should be in one or two sentences. All the people came and asked, You want to give a speech? I know you're a missionary, no problem. Now, this, the question. this is the question answer time, not a speech time. Okay. So, if you have a question, please pose your question in two or three sentences, brother. Yes, brother. Can we have a question? The question is this. The way Christians worship God through Jesus, because if we want to pray, we pray in the name of Jesus. Is it wrong in the teaching of Islam? Brother, yes. simple question, simple answer. You are running around the bush that Jesus is spirit of God in himself. We are not here to come to follow you. You point out, give references from the Bible. What you are talking is from your own mind. Everyone has a mind of his own. What I'm speaking, I'm giving references. Chapter number, verse number, chapter number, verse number. Everyone comes and says what he feels. It will not make any sense. What you're speaking is your thinking. We are not going to follow you, correct? What you want to say, quote the Bible or the Quran. Now your question is very good. You said that if you worship God through Jesus, is it correct according to the Quran or according to the, according to the Quran? If you worship God, Following the teachings of Jesus, no problem. But if you worship through him, if you worship taking his name, Oh Jesus, please forgive my sin, it is shirk. In Islam, as well as in Christianity. You follow his teaching, no problem. Follow teaching the Prophet Muhammad, no problem. But if you say that, Oh Jesus, please forgive my sin. Even if you say, Oh Prophet Muhammad, please forgive my sin, even that is shirk. Even that is prohibited. You can only worship Almighty God directly. You can follow the teachings of the messengers who taught us how to pray to God. But you cannot pray to the messenger. Is it clear? So if you pray to Jesus, peace be upon him, or to any other person, any messenger, you have to pray to Almighty God directly. In Islam, we pray directly. We don't require to pray to someone else or through someone else. We have to pray to Almighty God directly. If you pray to someone or through someone, it is prohibited in Islam. And even prohibited in Christianity. I'm okay with this. Okay. What is the true way to pray, to pray to God? What is the true way to pray to God? I've given the talk on Salah, the programming towards righteousness. If you read the, the Gospel, Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 39, it says that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he went in the garden of Gethsemane. He took a few steps and fell on his face and prayed to God. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, when he prayed, he fell on his face and prayed to God. In Islam, in the Salah, the most important is the sujood. Sajda is mentioned in the Quran 92 times. That is prostration. The One of the best part of Salah is prostration. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, prostrated and prayed. If you read the Bible, if you read the Abraham, peace be upon him, he fell on his face and prayed to God. Moses and Aaron, peace be upon them, they fell on their face and prayed to God. Joshua, in, in the book of Joshua, chapter 5, verse 14, he fell on his face and prayed to God. All the messengers of God, when they prayed, they fell upon their face and prayed to God. I can give you a scientific answer why this is good. But according to the Bible and according to the Quran, you have to do sujood, sajda, one of the part. The details are given in the Quran and the hadith. That this kayam, you stand up, you bow down, then you prostrate, then you get up. 
so this is the way of the prayer of all the prophets the main heart of salah is the sajda is the prostration and that's how all the messengers prayed including jesus and prophet muhammad peace be upon them hope that answers the question very well so inshallah in future you will not worship jesus christ peace be upon him and when you pray you will prostrate and pray to god correct correct brother yes, thank you. inshallah so do you believe jesus is god i hope you do not believe jesus is god no very good mashallah thank you so you believe he is the messenger of god of course i do do you believe prophet muhammad is the messenger of god yes i believe you believe mashallah so brother there are two things if you believe that there is one god and if you believe jesus is the messenger of god and if you believe prophet muhammad is the messenger of god then according to me you are a muslim mashallah <laughs> if you believe that Jesus is not God, if you believe is only messenger of God, to, to become a Muslim brother, there are two minimum things required. To believe there is one God? Yes, there is only one God. To believe Jesus is not God? Jesus is not God. To believe he is messenger? He is a messenger. And to believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger? Of course he is. So that means you are a Muslim according to me. Would you like to say it in Arabic? Yes. Is anyone forcing you to become a Muslim? Nobody is forcing me. Is there anyone putting pressure on you? No. So inshallah, say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa Rasuluhu. Wa Rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That. That's Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad is, the messenger is the messenger and servant of Allah. Allah. MashaAllah, we become Muslim and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He guide you more and may He grant you Jannah. May He forgive all your past sin and through you, may He get other people to the fold of Islam. Thank you. And I request that whenever a person becomes a Muslim, it is the duty of us Muslims to take care of him. We have to welcome him. You have to take care of him. If he requires information, give him. Whatever problem he has, whether it be social problem, whether it be knowledge, whether it be support, and I request as a policy, it is preferable that one Muslim should adopt another non-Muslim so that he feels more comfortable when he goes for salah, so that he's more comfortable, and inshallah, you will get the ajar for it. Surely be in touch with the local organization, brother, and so that you get more information and maybe you can practice Islam better. Jazakallah brother. Takbir. Takbir. Uh, with the first person that spoke, with the first lady that spoke, um, she really had to follow the conversation because they didn't really put into perspective what well, this video didn't really put into perspective what Zaki said before the woman spoke and it's like she was trying to talk about how other people are being judged according to Islam or how Dr. Zaki Naik's perspective is used to judge other people if I'm getting anything right from this um I can't the best thing I can say is I can't judge someone of a different culture according to my culture of course I'm, I'm going to want to judge I'm going to want to judge them but then I should be able to understand that this person is from a different culture they'll do things differently from me you know and that's understandable others go straight forward and say this is wrong this is this this is that but then we have to understand what different people different different backgrounds so certain things that we do are going to differ to some extent, you know, and it's really, I feel like sometimes it's a personal thing that you yourself have to do. If you feel like um, you judge this person, that's you. Another person will be like, but no, this is not us. They have their own culture that they have to carry on with. And, but I have to also address the fact that sometimes I've, I've said this continuously in my videos that if you're going to want to respond to Dr. Zakinaik or ask Dr. Zakinaik a question, be ready to listen. 
but then if your emotions get the better of you which many times we've watched people just lose their cool and can't i don't know it's like they lose their cool and can't bring that point across and we're just lost like to what's going on if you're going to come to a place where there's many people you want to interact with with anyone not just dr zakina it can be a doctor it can be a pastor it can be whatever person it is that you want to interact with learn to be a good listener listen to the person they'll give you the same same respect when they're responding to you and you want to throw in one or two points and the second part of this video was actually amazing i love the the now christians actually coming out and saying you know what jesus is not god and that's what many people have been afraid to do for so many many years otherwise enjoyed the video let me know what you guys actually think if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below just give me the name or the link and i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video